In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Greetings, good people of God. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Amban Njume. Today is Thursday, the 11th of January, 2024. It is Thursday of the first week in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 44. The response to the psalm is, Redeem us, O Lord, with your merciful love. The Gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. I read from the Gospel. At that time, a leper came to Jesus, begging him and kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And he sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to the people. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town but was out in the country and people came to him from every quarter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Always seek God's will when you pray to Him and ask Him for something. Always seek God's will when you pray to Him and ask Him for something. Dear God, good people, you would have realized that this entire first chapter of St. Mark's Gospel is all about Jesus focusing on his ministry. We have been reading and hearing lots about him teaching and healing. On Tuesday, he was in the synagogue teaching on the Sabbath. While there, he healed a man with an unclean spirit. He taught and he healed. On Wednesday, that is yesterday, he left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew. There, he healed Simon's mother-in-law who had a fever. That evening, while still in Simon's house, they brought many sick persons to him. He healed them of their various diseases and cast out many demons. Today, from Simon's house, he went throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out devils. Jesus is really busy. In today's gospel, a leper meets him. Two things the leper did are the core of this passage, and these two things strike us very strongly. First, what the leper did. What did he do? When he met Jesus, he knelt and begged him. What is the significance of this action 
kneeling and begging. It is a significance of total dependence. He knelt and begged Jesus, showing how totally dependent he was on Jesus. It also signifies total surrender. I am all yours. Do with me what you want. By kneeling and begging Jesus, it also shows a sign of total trust and faith in him. It also shows humility, total surrender. Now, dear friends, we cannot understand what this leper did by kneeling and begging Jesus if we do not first understand who lepers were. Lepers were rejected. They were outcasts. In fact, they stayed far off from the community because they had a virulent skin disease that was contagious. Their own family had abandoned them. Though alive, they were dead. So this leper was desperate. He really needed to be helped. And when he came to Jesus, he knew exactly his condition and the kind of person he was. He knelt and begged Jesus. What can we learn from this action of the leper? Some of us, dear friends, are too proud when we ask God for things. We are not humble enough. We don't go down on our knees to pray and we don't beg God enough. Some of us even dare to say, if God wants to give us, let him give us. If he does not want to give us, let him leave it. We are too arrogant when we walk to God to ask him for things. Do we understand that we need to be dependent on God to surrender? Do we see that truly we are desperate and therefore when we need help, we should go down on our knees and beg God? But like I said, beloved, many times in our prayers, we are not humble enough when we beg God. We think we are deserving of what we ask of him and so he should give us by right or by merit. This leper did not think that he merited it. He did not think that he deserved it and that is why his action was one of supplication, of humility, total dependence and surrender. He knelt and begged God. Dear God's good people, when you two come to beg God for something, beg him and kneel and ask him for it. Do not think you are deserving of it or that you merit it. Do not have that attitude of pride when you come to pray. Be humble. Go down on your knees and beg God. Show how desperate you are, how dependent you are on him. Now, what is the second thing the leper did? It was what he said. This is what he said to Jesus. If you want to, you can make me well. The leper knows that God's will is very important. He, the leper, may want something, but if God does not will it, it comes to naught. What is what he wants if God does not will it? So he tries to make himself one with God's will. Yes, Father, I want to be well, but till you will it, it cannot be so. Therefore, if it is your will, if you want to, you can make me well. This is what he told Jesus. The leper is desperate. He needs help. He wants to be well, but he will not force Jesus to do what he does not want. What is the big lesson to learn from what the leper said? Whatever it is we seek from God, however desperate we may be, let us ask that God's will be done. Don't force God to do what you want. Let us remember the Our Father prayer. When we say that prayer, what do we say? Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We seek God's will. Remember Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane when he prayed, Father, if possible, take this cup away from me, but not as I want it, as you will it. Remember our blessed mother, the Virgin Mary. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to your will. So dear God's good people, when you pray, do not forget to always say, Father, if you will it. 
I want to travel out of the country this year. Father, if it is your will. I want to get married this year. Father, if it is your will. I want to get a job this year. Father, if it is your will. I want to be promoted this year. Oh, Father, if it is your will. I want to be appointed. I want to be successful. Oh, Father, if it is your will. Because, dear God's good people, until God wills it, no matter how much we want it, it will not be. And if God wills it, fine, it will happen. Just as he willed that the leper be cleansed and he healed him. Of course, I want to, Jesus told him, be clean, and he was clean. And if Jesus did not will it, the leper was already disposed to accept because all he wanted was God's will. He would not have been angry, nor disappointed, nor live frustrated because he would have understood that it was not God's will for him. Many times when we pray and not get what we ask of God or from God, we get disappointed. We get frustrated. We get bitter. We even attempt to leave the church. We think God hates us. Why? Because we want to force God to do what we want, not his will. And that explains why we are not disposed to take a no for an answer. We think it must be as we want. I want to do this. Father, give it to me. No, beloved. Let us learn from the leper. I want to be clean. But if you will it, you can do it for me. Let us always be submissive. Let us always be ready to accept God's will. And I tell you, dear friends, when you have that disposition, when it is God's will, when he grants it to you, you will know it is because he willed it. And if it is not granted to you, you will still know that yes, it was not his will. And you will not be angry, you will not be frustrated, you will not be disappointed. This leper teaches us, beloved, when we go to pray, let us be humble. Kneel and beg God. And when you pray and beg him, remember, let his will be done, not what you want. We cannot force God to do what he does not want to do. Let us always remember to tell him, Father, may your will be done. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. May God's will be done for you this 2024.